Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 2 and the finish line mission set in Miami. And today we are going to take care of the Wheel of Misfortune challenge, which entails sabotaging Sierra Knox's car during the pit stop, but this time without a car bomb. So for this one, basically this is going to be the exact same run through as we did for the Days of Thunder challenge. There's only like one minor real change and that's the method of execution. So we're going to just bring with us our lethal poison and our lockpick just like we did for that mission. And for this one we will also get ourselves a perfect machine story or the mission story completed. So right from the start off the bat what we are going to do is make our way under the racetrack via the underpass. And we are going to enter into the Kromstad building via the overpass. And we are going to take care of Robert Knox. So once we're through the underpass up the stairs, we're going to hang a U-turn. We're going to make our way around towards the overpass area. And we're going to lockpick our way through this gate. And onwards towards the stairs. At the foot of the stairs, or just under the stairs, we will find a lead pipe. So we're going to grab that as well and make our way up to the top of the stairs for the overpass and we're going to enter through the door at the top into the Kromstad building and we're going to use the instinct here to look out for there's usually a guy just stood outside this door if he's not here for you like he isn't for me just bolt through and out the window on the right and then up the drain pipe and onto the roof and just at the far corner of the roof here we will find an open window leading to the security office where we can now select our lead pipe and take a quick breather while we wait for one of the two guards to re-enter the room go through his routine basically of just standing around in various locations and then as he goes to leave the room again we are going to duck through the window and knock out his companion who is just off to our left. So once this guy now is at the surveillance system, he will now move away to the door. We're going to go through the window and knock out his friend before he moves. We're going to grab his gun and we're going to place it on the floor about here somewhere. And then we're going to grab his body and we're going to drag him up as close to this partition as possible and take his outfit and now all we've got to do is wait for the other guard to return he's not outside for very long which is why we need to get this done relatively quickly but he should come in and spot the gun except he doesn't so we're gonna have to get behind him quickly before he spots the body and knock him out and we're just going to leave him right there. So now we're going to take out the surveillance system. There we go. And exit the security office. Hang an immediate left into the bathroom. And we're going to poison Robert Knox's eye drops that are in the bathroom here. And then we're going to exit the bathroom. Make our way all the way down the corridor. Avoiding the one enforcer at the end here. Into Robert Knox's office and we're going to turn up the air conditioning system and that's Robert Knox successfully taken care of he will come along shortly and kill himself in the meantime we can carry on with our wheel of misfortune challenge and for this we need to be on the other side of the racetrack so we're going to exit the Kromstad building via the roof over the fence there down off the roof and across the overpass and down the other side and into the paddock area. At least I think it's the paddock area. The layout of this place is a little bit different from what I'm used to watching Formula One races. So once we're at the bottom of the stairs, we're just gonna exit out into the crowd and we need to go into the VIP area. Luckily our disguise lets this us straight through. And once we're through here, we're going to make our way down to the pit changing rooms area, being aware that there is an enforcer wandering around. So we're going to use the crowd as cover 
until we're past him and then make our way down to the driver's lounge area and then down the stairs into the pit changing areas and into the locker room and just here on our left we will find a key card we're going to grab that key card select our lead pipe exit out through the other side of the changing rooms throw our lead pipe at the foot of the stairs to distract the guard up at the top of the stairs and while he's distracted we are going to make our way into the Kronstad race team pit uh, box and round into this redundant area here where we will find a generator so we're going to turn off the generator grab that hammer as soon as we've just lost our crowbar or our lead pipe should I say uh, eventually someone will come along and investigate and we can knock them out and hide their body in the crate so here comes someone now wait for him to turn on the generator knock him out drag his body into the crate just behind us now before we put on his outfit we're going to go and retrieve ourselves an air gun from the next bay so we're going to exit that area into the bay where they're working on a spare car and we'll pick up one of the air guns off of the desk there before making our way back to our fallen comrade here and we're going to take his outfit and now all we've got to do is appro the, approach the pick pit area thingy I don't know what you would call this and then we're going to move to our right and select the wheel and the pit stop will now go into the cutscene and everything else is now dealt with and all we've got to do is sit back and watch. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit and we'll speak again soon. So there you go, that will get you the Wheel of Misfortune challenge and you may have also noticed that the uh, mission story, A Perfect Machine, will pop at roughly the same sort of time as well. What you don't see is Robert Knox has also dropped down dead while we were watching that little cutscene, but it does not get a mention. So both our targets are now dead and I have completely forgotten where I was going and what I was doing and I don't have a crowbar and I've just run right past one so I'm gonna head for the overpass and right to the other far side of the overpass and collect the crowbar that I know is there even though I know I've just run past one there is a crowbar in the medical area but with their crowbar now acquired we can make our way back down from the overpass area behind the pink hotel and we can exit via the sewers so there you go that is the wheel of misfortune challenge taken care of along with the mission story a perfect machine i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video